Hello everyone, Ben Williams here from Olten Cup Habitat Restoration Enhancement, and I wanted to film up a little quick YouTube video today. We'll see if this is a, uh, a flop, a uh, fail, or something that works out really good for us. So this is my first time I've ever experimented with cuttings um, of any shape or size. Um, and so what I did is I had a poplar tree um, when we were cleaning out a uh, kind of a ditch system at my uh, full-time job at Finger Lakes Community College. And I took the tree down and then I took all the branches and I created cuttings out of them. And literally, I think I have two, three hundred cuttings that I made myself. No root world hormone, no nothing. These have just been in water for now a couple weeks. I'm um, kind of just putting putting out good roots down into the ground. And um, some of these are performing better than others. I've plugged about a hundred or so in through this wet swale of reed canary grass. So this year, step one is going to be this spot. Um, there's a little rise in this right here that will be next year's control we're going to do the same kind of thing with a cutting planting next year except we're going to go in and we're going to spray everything so i'm keeping everything down on this front face where it's actually wetter too so i'm hoping these poplars root in a little bit better but these have literally been in just a bucket of water um i think i had about 200 or so cuttings i put in about 100 so far i got about another 100 plus to go right now but all i did was just start these in water and um, again, selecting the right type of plants for cuttings I found is, is key with my research I've done. So I'm hoping these poplars take off. Um, they were in my shop, um, kind of under some cover in the back corner where it wasn't getting uh, direct sunlight, but it was fairly warm there. So they did pop, um, which we have 80 degrees coming tomorrow. Um, and then some rain. And I have a ton of trees that just came in from um, the tree sale uh, through my local county. And um, we got over 300 or so trees we got to put in tomorrow slash maybe today. Um, I might start doing a few of them or at least getting the stuff around for them. But we got a big undertaking tomorrow. I got my wife and a couple friends maybe coming out to help me along throughout the day. But um, So that's all I'm doing is I'm just plugging these cuttings in that have self-rooted um, and have, have sprouted. Um, even the ones that haven't sprouted yet, I'm going to plug in. But look at that. And I'll show you. This, these, these are my cuttings that all they are was just cut um, cut sections from the branches and look at the amount of roots they are now these probably would survive better if I dug a hole and put them in that way um, so I'm not breaking off a lot of these fine roots they're a lot more rooted than I expected them to be especially without a rooting hormone um, or anything added with this but uh, I know I'm going to break some of these fine roots off, and I know some people that probably have done more cuttings than me will probably get after me about this. Um, but I'm looking for quantity over necessarily quality with these ones. These are just plugging in to start uh, resetting this field a little faster. Um, I know I have a reed canary grass problem um, and everything like that. And then once these are growing vigorously, I can come in um, and maybe before the spring green up, when these would still be normally dormant, this canary grass is popping, I could come through and get a spray kill on this early emerging canary before these have bud swelled and popped um, in the future for doing some control or spot spraying around them um, where possible so these are just scattered plantings in uh, pockets and little sections you see right here i got a whole bunch of them if you look kind of the the lime green leaf that you see out there scattered look at them all i got you know 40 50 of them right here a couple of the bigger ones that were actually bigger than my thumb um <laughs> I mean, look at this thing is, you know, almost an inch in diameter. And uh, so we're just plugging these in. We're going to see how this goes. I'll keep you guys posted on it. Um, but I'm going to plug this whole section in. Um, you can see I've kind of done right up to right there. There's a little bit of tinge of it. Got some spruce up by the road. Um, failed switchgrass experiment right here. Uh, and you can't plant into canary grass with switch. Definitely a big no-no. Um... But yeah, I'm learning as I go with some of this stuff. But, um, and again, that's just adding more tools for the toolbox, more better uh, information to give to my clients. And that's what I'm doing is doing little experiments like this and putting them possibly in the worst case scenarios um, and then seeing how stuff responds to it. But just trying to speed up the succession in this field a little bit quicker. This is more canary grass than some of our other cleared off areas and it just needs to get more screening and more security into the spot um, from an access standpoint and from road neighbors I mean you can see a couple of the houses um, in this video too so hoping this speeds it up a little bit fast vigorously growing um, 
you know, try to get the clock ticking ahead a little bit quicker for us. So that's what we're doing. I got to get plugging on my cuttings. Maybe just look how nice and vigorous those plants are growing. So we're going to plug them in and uh, see how this responds to it. We got evergreens going in, um, some hazelnuts, some June berries, some red buds. Some of those are going in over at my house um, in specific areas too. We have some white cedar, white spruce and Norway spruce is what I could get my hands on. And all those trees come from Meadowview Nurseries. So I know that they're high quality um, trees from the tree sale because uh, Ben grows them and I've known Ben for a very long time, probably 10 years now. We went to college together at Finger Lakes. So he's got a great uh, outfit down there in Naples, Meadowview Tree Nursery. Um, he also does a lot of landscape, excavating and um, dirt work kind of stuff now too. Um, so always love seeing Ben's stuff, but uh, we're gonna get my cuttings plugged in and then we're gonna work with uh, Ben's cuttings later today or tomorrow. So thank y'all for checking out this video. Um, if you have any experience with cuttings, please drop it down in the comments below, let me know. And uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this and uh, we'll do updates kind of throughout the year. We'll wait out in this and see what's responding and how it's going and uh, we'll go from there with it. So thank y'all for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments on it, please let me know and I'll catch y'all next time here in the field. I'm going to get back to plugging. Take care.